Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for the restaurant show and we have one of my favorite restaurants, Frankie Bones here. Hey guys, my in-laws will be like, oh, we love Frankie Bones. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we are going to actually talk about the great months, months, I'm saying, because it's September and October coming up and you guys celebrate it like kings over there, don't you? Yes. Um, it is Oktoberfest. So um, Chef Luke Lyons here, the executive chef there, has been putting out some wonderful food for the past few years. What are you going to show us today? Well, I'm going to make one of our staple items, which is uh, the pork schnitzel. Very, very popular Frankie Bones. We actually have it on the menu all year round yes, in my, a couple different formats that you can actually get it there. My son's favorite. That's Absolute favorite. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, pretty much this is a staple German food. Going dates way back. Um, it's a breaded pork cutlet. And that's what that's we have pounded. right there, right? Yep. It's pounded really. You guys check that out. That is thin, thin, thin. I mean, really thin. It's really thin and really tender. It's about a six ounce pork loin cut. They pound really, really right, thin, but it comes and you get it out yeah. like that, so it's about the size of the plate. That's the thing about the schnitzels. And you're going to do a, what's called a st standard breading procedure, which okay. is flour, egg wash, and we use Japanese breadcrumbs, which is panko, because nice it gets crispier. Yes. Do you think, is that one of your, I, that's kind of like a go-to breadcrumb for me, because I think it's so, there's so much crunch to it. So versatile, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Everybody pretty much uses it these and days. Everything, yeah, it's, it's great, and it really does make a difference, I think. So you want to coat your pork in flour first. Okay, and this nice. is that's your first dry part yep. of it. And then you're going to shake it off, put in a little egg wash so you get a little glue. And and now, Chef, how long does it take you to pound that out? Because that's really beautiful. That a minute or two. A minute or two, so it's not too bad. So if you want to tempt it at home. <laughs> it's actually quite big easy. Hammer. Yeah, big hammer. It looks intimidating, but it's it actually does, quite easy. To get that thin without like... Um, put it between two pieces of plastic wrap, say, pound it out. What's your tip then for pounding out, like whether it's that or chicken or... Nice hard cutting board or hard surface. Okay. Put it in between two pieces of plastic wrap so you don't cross-contaminate anything for right, the most part. Right. And just go at and it. Just pound Start away from at the it. center and work your way out. And you'll get it tip, nice and guys. thin. Start from the center, work your way out, but make sure you use that plastic wrap on both sides. Thanks, Chef, because we're always looking for good tips. And we have some uh, medium high heat with some uh, butter in it. Beautiful. Clarified butter's really good. Oh, we use you're a little using mixture of butter. butter in it. <laughs> That's always delicious. It's awesome. only going to take probably yeah. like three, four minutes, probably okay. like two minutes per side, I'd say. You want to get a nice golden brown color. Perfect. Or as we call it, GBD, golden brown and delicious. Golden brown, golden brown and delicious. <laughs> well, you know, while that's cooking up, um, this is the GM owner operator that you are the man in charge over there. This is Phil, and he is going to tell us a little bit about what fantastic event you have come because this is a big one. This is a yes. big event that you guys have coming up. Saturday, September 20th. Um, starts at three in the afternoon, runs till eight nine at night. Okay. Uh, we have we call it Franktoberfest. Right. We set up a large tent out in the parking lot right across from the restaurant. So uh, it's actually so if you go to Frankie Bones, it's going to be you're going to see a big tent yeah, there. Where you normally park, there's going to be a big tent. I love it. And a bunch of little tents. We're going to have a band, an oompa band called the Rhinelanders. I love it. Uh, we're going to have a Luke will be out there right. cooking up a storm. We're going to have a great menu. I'm telling you guys, I'm looking at their menu right now. It has everything. I mean, if you first of all, if you're German or you love German food, and it's not easy to find around this area. Or if you want to be German food. If you want to, if you want to have German food, <laughs> and you want to be part of Oktoberfest because you can't get to Germany, um, they have a huge menu that has. And this is all going to be in the tent. You'll be able to have all this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go in the restaurant and sit down. It's going to be a fun event where you can walk we'll around. We have tables and chairs outside. I love uh, it. We're going to have lots of contests. We'll have Stein carry races. Yeah. Okay, which mustache, mustache contest. Oh, my also, brother should um, come. Sam, <laughs> yeah, you <he> should. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Adams is a big sponsor. They've got their Oktoberfest, which okay. hasn't quite come out yet. So uh, we will have it there. And this is um, what, one of the, this is the Stein. One of the this Steins. Is a, their official we'll Stein, bunch right. Bunch of those to give away. But we're also having a uh, Raise the Stein contest where you literally, it's actually a one liter stein. They're okay. Big, they're bigger than this. Bigger than this one. You hold it out parallel to the ground, keep your arm locked, they and are. hold it as long as you can. But it's, Just the it's glass be, is already heavy. It's going to be full, and it's going to be a one liter I love one. it. And is that going to be a contest that you're going to have? That is a nationwide contest. The winner of this can go on to Charleston and compete. Oh, so you can compete at Oktoberfest at Frankie Bones. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, I love and it. And if you go on to the Nationals and win, you get uh, all expense paid ticket for two, trip to the Oktoberfest celebration in Munich, Germany the, like in, 20, the, in 2015. I love it. So I Sam love it, Adams guys. is a great sponsor for that. I love it. Well, let's talk a little bit about, I know we're going to be pulling that out so you can see how beautiful that is. Um, and we just have a little bit of time left. That is, oh my gosh. 
We serve That's this huge. with a little uh, German spätzle, which is a German dumpling for the most part, basically so a good. flour dumpling. So you good. Passed through a rice mill and a boiling water. Classic braised red cabbage, a little apple and bacon fat Gorgeous. in as well, Gorgeous. and a little brown gravy. And when you serve your schnitzel, you want to garnish it with a little bit of lemon on top. Ah, and it really just it brightens it up. A little bit of garnish of a lemon. I love it. And now, chef, we also have on here. This is another item that is uh, the rem say it, it's a roulade. Roulade. I was gonna say a remoulade. It's not remoulade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm not saying the right thing. And now, what is this beautiful item here? It's basically a rolled stuffed beef that's sirloin, pounded thin, just like the pork. Right, right. Inside of that is spread with a little bit of uh, Golden's mustard or spicy brown mustard of your choice, uh, shaved onion, I love it. and a pickle. And a pickle. And we serve that over a little bit of buttered noodles with an onion gravy that we braved a beef now, onion gravy. Is that also available year round or is this something That's special? That's just a specialty for October. Fest. Wonderful. So yeah. make sure that you're checking this out. And then tell me, just, just throw it out there all the different brats that you're going to be bringing in because you bring in a lot Not of different. Bratwurst, bratwurst. There's a lot of worse. Liverwurst. Yeah. And you're bringing that all in specially for this for this event mm -hmm. and for the month. And how long does that go for? Till how Halloween. long does a special? Till Halloween, you guys. So check it out. Check Now tell me too, if you are um, wanting some catering, this yeah, is we, a good way to check wanna, out some of the food. If you want to do your own little beer garden in your backyard, we can do this family style takeout or we can come. If you got a big party coming up, you can do right. your own Oktoberfest. And I love it. Come on down to ours on Saturday and check it out. And then uh, and place your order right then. If you want, <laughs> if you want to do, if you want to do it in your backyard, we can we can provide it. Uh, besides beer and Sam Adams, we're going to also have a lot of um, nice Rieslings out there. Yes. We're bringing some nice German wines for, um, for Oktoberfest. I love it. So again, give us the times of um, when the event is. The, uh, Saturday the 20th, mm -hmm. September 20th, uh, starts at 3. And until... Eight, so, eight. Until we're oompa yes, out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and of course, you guys remember Frankie Bones located in Main Street, um, right at the north end of the island. And um, cheers. Oh, we'll give that to you, chef. <laughs> Fair enough. There we go. And, um, and make sure. I'm Prosit. I'm Prosit. Is, I'm Prosit. is that it? it? That's it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Make sure you join them for Franktoberfest and for the month of Oktoberfest through Halloween. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.